What's up everyone, Gamer King Tario here, and welcome to a special Soul Sacrifice edition of Vita Talk, where I talk about all things PlayStation Vita. This is going to be a little more informal than you're probably used to from me. I'm not going to do anything scripted, I'm just going to kind of talk. So yesterday, I put in about 15 hours into Soul Sacrifice and recorded some really cool gameplay footage that I'll show here, but my right thumb right now is absolutely killing me. Uh, it was a pretty busy day, a lot of button mashing, so I'm actually glad to take a break to go ahead and make this video. So yesterday I posted a video with some new Soul Sacrifice retail gameplay and I asked you guys to submit some questions you guys might have about Soul Sacrifice. And of course, like anything related to video games on the internet, it returned it turned into a referendum on Metacritic and Soul Sacrifice getting a 77 Metacritic score. I'm not going to talk too much about Metacritic, I have my opinions on that, and that's a rant for another day. But I did get some other questions that I would like to go ahead and answer, and it'll give me an excuse to show off some more, even cooler gameplay that I've collected over the last few hours. So question number one comes from Red Soldier, and he would like to see some online co-op gameplay. No problem, Red Soldier, I can help you out with that. I'll go ahead and play some of the footage that I have laying around, and it'll give me a chance to talk a little bit about the multiplayer. The multiplayer so far for me has been absolutely seamless. I've had no network issues, no lag issues. The game does require an online pass. For those of you wondering about picking up used, you are going to need to purchase an online pass. But the online component of Soul Sacrifice has been a great addition to the game, and it's so easy to just jump in, kill a monster, collect some goodies, and then go back to doing what you were doing. Comment number two comes from SamSam24242. There have been no ads for this game at all. Sony is just sending this game out to die. Unfortunately, Sam Sam, I wish I could argue with you, but I really can't. I haven't seen a single ad. I live in the eastern United States. I have not seen one television ad. I have not seen one magazine ad. I have not seen one internet ad. Even if you go to the big video game websites and you go to their Vita page, you're getting ads for the new Star Wars game or car commercials or something like that. It really is sad. It really seems like Sony has absolutely no faith, at least in the West, that this game's going to be able to pull any kind of number. For question number three, Giannis asks, are there more spells than in the demo? And the answer is absolutely. There are a ton of spells in the demo. Rarely do I finish a quest without getting a new uh, spell that I can look at. A lot of them are derivative of each other, like you'll get the, the frost egg or the fire golem and then you'll get the, the venom golem or, or whatever the case may be. A lot of them are very, very similar, but even then you're able to upgrade your spells and farm them out and then you're able to fuse even greater spells. So there are a ton more spells in the game than actually in the demo. Question number four comes from Benji Skits, and he asks, Did your save game from the demo load up okay? Please explain, thanks. And yep, everything went perfect. Once you start the actual Soul Sacrifice game proper, you'll actually have to hit New, and then it'll recognize that it has your demo, and it'll ask you, do you want to transfer your demo stats over to that save? And everything works perfectly from there. So the final question for this Q&A comes from England Flick, and he says, Make a review, please. Uh, I am working on it, just letting you guys know my original plan was I was going to do a kind of a review in progress type thing or maybe an impressions video, but I'm actually progressing through the game much quicker than I thought. I am actually haven't died really at all. I thought there was going to be a lot of grinding and going back and trying to grind up you know, all my elementals and stuff to be able to progress to the next step, but I've actually been breezing through it pretty quickly, so unless I hit any major roadblocks, I hope to have a review up tomorrow or the day after, so keep an eye out for that, and I'm just going to do my best I can to make one video review instead of kind of spacing it out over multiple videos. That's it for this episode of Vita Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything you guys want to see, please let me know down in the comment section below. Or if you have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer them or respond to them uh, on the comment section. Stay tuned for the full video review. That should be up as soon as I can get it. I'm working on it really hard. And that's it, guys. Take care.